Magic Animate from Mr. Alex Tech, absolutely incredible. Proto, for me, pretty neat. But how long will we need to wait for the next new amazing free plugin for DaVinci Resolve? We don't, it's here. It's MCAM Rig from Motion VFX. It's free, it's available now. It does awesome things like this. Let me tell you all about it. Here's how it works. If you have a timeline and you have anything on that, like a little image, once it's installed in the effects library under effects, motion VFX, you will have M cam rig. Drag and drop that right onto your image, your footage, whatever. And now in the inspector in effects, you have some nifty controls. By default, it just gives us this nifty little zoom in. It'll zoom in, it'll hold, and then at the end of your clip, it'll zoom back out. And this movement is dynamic. So if you shrink this clip a little bit, uh, it'll zoom out to match, or if you extend it a whole lot, it'll hold and then zoom out at the very end. Now inside the effect controls, you have some options. Like I said, by default, it just says this zoom in and hold and zoom out. You might notice when it zooms in, uh, we have some little extra sharpening going on and you can control that off right in effects controls. We have some uh, different options, but first I'm gonna look at camera controls. If you open this up, we have a whole lot of controls um, for this position, it sort of holds in. You can see I can move over this zoom pivot to something like down in the corner. Also hopped into effects to turn off Gaussian blur just while we are choosing where we are zooming into. And say if for some reason um, I want to have this actually zoom it. Yeah, over here on our effects library, if I want to zoom in onto that, uh, then I can change this zoom pivot over, maybe even zoom in a little more. We can slide that in X and Y. And then we also have pan, tilt, and roll. And you can see if we start to just gently change this, we can sort of give this a nifty look like it is on this sort of 3D plane. And we can start to do some cool stuff. And from the beginning, it will be full frame like normal. And then it'll just push in, give that extra sort of 3D-ish look to it. And then hold that and come back out. Now you might notice that under some of these options, you also have rate. You have slide rate and pan and tilt. And if you just pull this up a little bit, you can see that it'll go to that motion. And then if you have these rate set, it'll have this little subtle or not so subtle, depending on how much you crank it up, ongoing animation. So if I pull up something like, get really crazy with it, roll, pan rate, and zoom rate even more. <laughs> now it'll punch in, and then we'll have this sort of ongoing animation. I sort of added rate to all of this, which probably won't look that good. It doesn't, but, but, but you get what's going on. It'll do this whole animation and zoom all the way back out. I think I'm good without this sort of ongoing animation now. Maybe a slight Y slide. Yeah. Then I can toss up the pan and the tilt a little bit and that will look pretty nice. From full screen, boom. Like if I was highlighting one of these titles, this would look amazing. I do have a, yeah, I'll toss in a little zoom rate as well. Zoom, zooms in a little extra slowly. And then at the end, pops back out. Uh, this is awesome, super flexible, but um, we have those motions and underneath it, you have these effect motions. Like I said before, you have this sharpen, which can really help if you have some fine details you wanna pop out or depending on how much you are zooming in. And again, you can always control that sharpen amount well if you want it uh, more subtle or more punchy. You also have this prism, uh, which around the edges adds this really cool sort of chromatic aberration, real neat. And then you have this Gaussian blur. You see by default, it just sort of looks at the middle of your image, blur stuff towards the side. This is really great for selling that sort of like faux 3D look as well. And you can even control this blur range a little bit, really how much you want this center that is in frame to be pushed towards the edges. And you have a really chunky sort of uh, pixelate effect, which you can control again, more or less pixely. And you can also tag this grid on top of everything if you wanna simulate some like old displays. Very cool. And hey, you even have mask controls. And this mask is actually over the source footage. So if you just wanted to isolate something, you could sort of just like bring in the edges to for, for whatever reason, uh, just another tool to further like drive focus. I'm gonna toggle that off. And then finally you have background controls. If I were to come up to camera, and really uh, like push this zoom and maybe like push this, really push this pan and tilt. So this gets extreme. You see, we have a background to this effect. By default, it is this gradient. You can always change these colors however you want. If you want them to match your scene or something or match your own branding, tons of flexibility. But a really great way to go from something full screen to like punch in drive effect. 
Um, it gives you this amazing faux 3D look without having to go through the actual 3D system. I'm working on some stuff with the actual 3D system. Stay tuned for that. But this, it's quick, it's cool, it works. And like I said, it's free and available now. The link in the description will take you right to that product page. And while this video isn't sponsored, that is an affiliate link, something to be aware of, um, something else to be aware of as well. Some of you might notice if you are already fans of Motion VFX and watching some of their videos, uh, outside of my personal brand and my YouTube channel, uh, I'm working for them. I'm doing some cool stuff in Resolve as well as doing some like script revision and voiceover work for those videos. Uh, so if you want a little bit of me, sometimes I'm over there. Uh, with this voice talking about stuff, like MCAM rig. <laughs> this is a plugin they've had for Final Cut Pro for a long time, and I'm pretty happy that everyone in DaVinci Resolve has access to it now as well. Go check it out, have some fun. Uh, stick around for news about uh, the next awesome free preset that I find. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.